Hello and welcome to the first tutorial of the Steinle Connect app. The first step in the provisioning is creating a project. When you go to the app, to projects, you have the option to press the plus button, create a new project, enter the project name, Then you have uh, the option to fill uh, the project with information, for example the street, the house number of the project, uh, zip code, city, uh, the contact name who is re responsible for this project, uh, a phone number, for example the facility manager, and you can make some notes which are important uh, for the participants of the project. Then you have the option to save the project um, uh, to the Steine Cloud. So all data, all information from the last commissioning are saved in the cloud. Creating the project. So now you get a sign that is successfully. And then we have the option to create networks in the uh, project. And this is what I've shown you, or I will show you in the next step, in the next video. Hello, welcome to the SEC tutorial uh, for commissioning of the network in the Steiner app. Then when we have created a project, then we have the option via the plus button to um, make a new, pro a new network. Then you have the option to import an existing network or create a new network. If you want to create a new network, this could be, for example, a floor or a staircase or part uh, of a building, for example, floor one, we call it. Then we have created um, the network and then we have the, in the next step, the option to create groups and find the project uh, products um, or to put the products in the network. In, yeah, you have the option to add in group or as a single product, but this we show in the next video. Hello and welcome to the third um, video of our tutorial of the Steiner Connect app. Now I want to show you how to add new products um, to a group. At first, we have done um, the project. The second step was creating networks. And now we put the products in groups or in the networks. And how we handle this, I'll show you like this. We have the option to add the product directly to the group or we add it in the network as a single product. But we want to make a group. We enter name for the group. For example, we call it oh, staircase. We're searching for products. Now we get a list of products which are in this area. We see we have an I symbol here. With this I symbol, we can identify the uh, luminaire. We see in the back the luminaire is flashing, so now we know this is the right luminaire. We mark it and add the product to the group. Now the data are transmitted. This takes a little, a little bit of time. Now we are ready, all data are transmitted and the product is in the group. And now we can change 
um, the settings of the Luminaire. This is what we show you in the next video. Hello and welcome to the tutorial of group settings in the connected app from Steinl. We have what we have done is already we have created a project, we have created a network, we put the luminous to a group. In this case, we have uh, call it staircase. Then I press on this button. Then um, we see okay we have the mode fully automatic so the sensors switch the luminaire on and um, uh, yeah, after a time, um, time delay uh, the luminaire switch off again. We have also a switch mode and the sensor is deactivated you can uh, switch the luminaire normal by a normal switch. Then we have individual settings in the motion detector we can reduce the sensitivity of the sensor, sensor and then we can add, activate a test mode um, for testing the detection range of the sensor. Then we go back to the light sensor. Here we can say when we have a list of luminaires, we can say okay which luminaire should be the uh, should give the light level uh, threshold to the group. We see here small the lux level of each luminaire and then we can set for example the darkest luminaire should be uh, my master for the light measurement. Then we can set the, um, uh, the lux threshold for uh, switching on the, the luminaire. Now we have daytime operation, but we can also set uh, individual via the slider um, the lux level. And also make a lux teach of measuring of the luminaire, or we can say also on which time um, we should um, yeah, we should measure the luminaire. For example, in the afternoon at six o'clock in the evening, uh, then we at this point uh, the luminaire should measure the, the light level and take it as its threshold. Then we can set the lighting, um, the lighting options. For example, the dimming level you can set in the, in the percentage you see on the back, in the background, the luminaire. Um, which becomes darker when I set it to 10%. For example, the stay on time, so that is the delay time of the sensor after detection how long the luminaire is switching on. We have a backlight, this are extra LED on the back side, um, yeah, which are, is an effect light to illuminate um, the ceiling. Then we have a soft start, it's a fade time, it's a dim ramp, um, how long it takes uh, from switching off to switching on to the on mode, uh, how long does it take? And the same we have also for the soft end. Then we have a basic light, so we call it the basic brightness or basic light functionality. Uh, there we have, we can make it time-based or brightness-based. Uh, we can set time-based means, for example, uh, that we have after the delay time of the main light, the luminaire goes not fully off, it goes for five minutes in the stay on time of the basic brightness. Then we can choose the light sources for, for the R series, it um, should be on the backlight both or only a dimmed main light and here we can set also for the basic brightness we can set the, um, the values, the light level. Then we can make monitoring when we have uh, emergency light model integrated then you have here um, the option and have a status if everything is okay uh, or if there are some some uh, faulties or some problems with an emergency light model yeah that was was it from the um, settings of uh, the groups 
Hello, today I want to show you a tutorial uh, regarding the neighbor group functionality in the Steine Connect app. Um, in the last tutorial I have shown you how uh, we make the group settings and now I want to show you how we make the neighbor group functionality. That means there's, uh, the Lumina groups works as a swarm functionality and um, yeah, how we handle this I show you like this. We go to a group, now we for example the corridor, then we press here the point groups, neighboring groups, and then we can set, okay, my neighbor group should have um, a setting of 20% for example. Then we say which neighbor group we want to have. We want to have a new one, we press the plus button. We say, okay, the staircase group should be my neighbor. And then we make, must make it also in the opposite. That means we go back to the groups, go to staircase, go in the same settings. Oh. And the groups, go on neighbor groups. Uh, so we make the settings of 20%. Press here on the neighbor groups. Press the plus button. Find the corridor group. Add this corridor group as my neighbor group. And then we have done the whole commissioning for the neighbor group functionality. Hello and welcome to the, uh, today's tutorial. I want to show you today how to reset a product in the Steine Connect app. First of all, you press on products, go to the products and see or identify your product, which one you want to reset, that you have the right one. Mark it, click on the three points, and then remove from network. Press OK. Now the luminaire is reset it and you can um, put it to the luminaire again. Now I want to show you the second option to reset a product. We go to more, there you find reset product. Select the product or the device, what you want to reset. And you're searching for products. I mark the product which I want to reset. Reset the product. And now the product is reset and you can put it again in the network and in the individual groups. Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. I want to show you today how to update a product in the Steine Connect app. We go to more, update firmware. Select products and you can mark one or more products, update the product and now the firmware is updated on the Luminaire. Now we have updated the Luminaire to the newest firmware. 